the Siberian forest is a harsh and unforgiving place where only the hardiest of individuals can thrive. part try. two. Samuel is one such person, oh, the only residence for miles around for the past 20 years. As morning breaks, Samuel stirs from his sleep, slowly rising and beginning to prepare himself for whatever the wilderness may bring. To start his day, he washes his face with ice-cold water that he collected from a nearby lake. Another crucial aspect of morning routine is to tend to the wood-burning stove and keep the fire going to ensure that the temperature remains consistent throughout the day. Man, that's just a it's regular can. April, the long-awaited spring has finally arrived. The winter's icy grip is slowly loosening, and the forest is starting to come to life once again. The temperatures has begun to rise, with the biting cold of minus 60 degrees Celsius is slowly being replaced by a relatively balmy minus 10 degrees. This change is a welcome relief for Samuel, who has weathered the extreme cold alone in the wild forest. Negative 58, As the temperature starts to rise and spring fills the air, Samuel takes advantage of the favorable weather to create a significant number of brooms. To make money for food, Samuel uses his skills to create brooms from branches in the forest. He walks for five hours to reach the nearest village where he sells the brooms for three dollars each. What? Oh, Samuel faced a difficult past as he lost his family at a young age and worked at a farm that eventually closed down, leaving him without a job. With determination to survive, he moved to the forest and used his skills to make a living. However, life in the forest was unforgiving, and Samuel faced harsh living conditions. His small wooden house lacked proper windows, and he had to use cellophane instead. When we heard about Samuel's situation, we could not ignore it and decided to take action. We decided to surprise him by bringing new windows, food and supplies to help him live in more comfortable conditions. Respect, Thanks that's to dope. Nikolai, Lazar and our cameraman Radomir for organizing and bringing essential supplies to help Samuel. Windows? That's fly! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's cool. So much food. That's dope. He said, That's so fancy. Yo, Chigay. Ooh, we're on that now. That's dope, bro. Man, 
And that nigga had that for a window? This nigga it's different. Nikolai and Lazar diligently work on installing the new windows. Samuel eagerly heads out in the forest to check the traps he had set earlier for hares. Living in the wild, Samuel depends on his trapping skills to obtain meat for his meals, and tonight he plans to share his catch with our team. Oh. <laughs> Damn, this nigga, bro. He different, bro. After successfully installing the new windows, the guys decided to help Samuel gather firewood and prepare some stock. With his new chainsaw, Samuel is able to obtain firewood faster with greater ease. That's dope, bro. I would love to be a part of a team that do something like that, man. That's some people you want to help, you feel me? After a long and exciting day, Samuel is ready to wind down and indulge his specialty of the house, Yakutian bread. This traditional bread originating from Yakutia is a staple in Samuel's diet and a source of comfort for him in the wild. He expertly mixes the flour, water, yeast and salt, kneading the dough until it's just right. As dinner is being prepared, our team takes the opportunity to show Samuel the first part of the video we have made. This is the first time he has seen it, and his face lights up with the joy as he watches himself and his way of life on screen. Seeing the footage is a heartwarming experience for Samuel, and he is grateful for the chance to share his story with others. As the video ends, Samuel expresses his gratitude, offering to share his food and many interesting stories about living in the wilderness.
for Samuel is a reminder that even in the rugged wilderness, there are people who care and are willing to lend helping hand. This experience was a powerful reminder of the importance of showing kindness and compassion toward others, and how such acts can make a meaningful difference in uh, yeah. someone's life.